Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk 2018 Review. What is it? Essentially, it's two of the U.S.'s motoring loves, large, comfy SUVs and raw, powerful muscle cars, mashed together to create a supercharged, supersized beast. That would still be practical for a school run. A potentially very quick school run, obviously. Set the task of producing the world's fastest SUV, SRT, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles performance arm, set about it in a different way from the likes of Mercedes-AMG or Land Rover's SVO division. SRT has set about it in the most American way possible, sticking a great big powerful V8 up front. And not just any V8 but the Mopar Hellcat a 6.2-liter unit featuring a 2.4-liter IHA supercharger, previously featured in such demure and subtle machines as the Dodge Charger and Challenger Demon. The Hellcat produces a supercar rivaling 697 bhp and 645 pounds-foot of torque at 4,800 revolutions per minute, a slight reduction on its use elsewhere due to a more restrictive exhaust powered through an 8-speed automatic gearbox with a manual mode. With power to all four wheels, the Trackhawk can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and hit 100 miles per hour in 8.8 seconds. It has a claimed top speed of 180 miles per hour, which SRT says is determined purely by the vehicle's aerodynamics. This is no wind tunnel crafted sports car, remember. What's it like? From the outside, the Trackhawk isn't that different from a regular Grand Cherokee, only a few subtle nameplates and yellow Brambo brake calipers, the largest fitted to any Jeep, ever, offer any hint at what lurks under the bonnet. Inside, the trim has been raised a few notches over the standard Grand Cherokee, with leather seats and some fancy Trackhawk logos, while comfortable enough, it's not a class-leading interior. That said, you suspect any potential buyers will be more interested in the engine than in comparing rear leg room with that of a Nissan Qashqai. Fitting that engine meant reworking the internals extensively, even compared with the previous range topping Grand Cherokee SRT, which featured a 461 bhp, 6.4 liter Hemi engine, which seems sensible by comparison. The Hellcat V8 has never needed to send power to all four wheels, that, combined with the packaging constraints of the Grand Cherokee, meant SRT had to extensively upgrade and rework the transmission, rear drive shaft, CV joints and differential. There's plenty of extra cooling, too. We were only given a very brief ride in the trackwalk, totaling a handful of laps of the Spring Mountain Race Circuit in Nevada. Clearly, that's not enough time to draw any firm judgment but it was enough to illustrate that the trackwalk has been engineered well enough that it makes far more sense to drive than it does on paper.